Hey everyone, today we are going to draw from reference image and add some style to make it truly unique. Don't worry if you're a beginner, we will break it down into easy to follow steps. One more thing here, I have used modified signature pen in all of my sketch process. If you don't know how to modify it, check out the links in description below. Let's get started. Begin by studying your reference image using Loomis method. We will start with a large circle as this circle will represent the cranium. Now slice off this circle from only right side as the head is tilted at an angle. Divide this circle into two halves. Carefully transfer these lines to your canvas ensuring correct placements and proportions. Add brow line and a vertical line down the face. This is center line of face. Now sketch the shape of face using gentle curves to define contours. Now we have established a solid foundation using Loomis method. With a strong foundation in place, we will be able to focus on capturing the likeliness and personality of our subject. Time to add landmarks for facial features. Add landmarks for hairline, nose and mouth. Notice the distance between these landmarks and place them correctly on your canvas. By adding these guidelines, you will be able to place the features in correct proportion and achieve well-balanced drawing. Now break down the subjects into simple basic shapes. Now let's start tracing the shape of our subject's face. Gently sketch overall shape of face using smooth curves to define the contours. Pay attention to the tilt and angle of head. Simple shapes ensure that your drawing is proportionate and accurately represents the subject. Simple shapes allows you to notice the small details and subtleties that might otherwise go unnoticed. It gives you solid foundations allowing you to tackle more complex subjects with confidence. Now draw a line along the length of each eyebrow to measure how much area they are covering according to the face. Draw a line between the eyes to measure the distance between the eyes. Draw a line along the length of nose to define coverage area and a circle to define thickness and position of nose. A curve for mouth shape and two circles for eyes to define their angle, position, length and a relationship according to other facial features. This way we will capture the unique features and personality of our subject. It's time to add features and details. Don't worry too much about accuracy at this stage. Remember this point. Just let your instincts guide you. When you start drawing eyes, nose or anything, use simple lines and curves to suggest their shape. Don't worry about proportions or perfection. Just focus on getting a feel for the features. Keep it soft, gentle, with subtle lines and minimal detail. We are building a foundation for our features, not creating a finished product. As you add more details, pay attention to overall balance and harmony of the face. Make adjustments as needed. Don't overthink it. Notice how the face begins to take on a personality. That's the magic of intuitive drawing. We are tapping into our subconscious mind, allowing our instincts to guide our pencil. Remember, this is a process, not a product. We are exploring, experimenting, and learning. So don't worry if things don't look perfect. We will refine and adjust as we go along. Next, pay attention to details. Refine the shape and angles of facial features. Correct any mistakes or inconsistencies. As you refine your portrait, constantly refer to your reference image. Compare and contrast. Make adjustments to ensure your drawing accurately captures the likeliness and essence of your subject. Don't worry if it takes time. Refining a portrait is a process that requires patience and attention to detail. Remember, the goal is to create a portrait that not only looks like your subject but also captures their personality and spirit. So take your time, stay focused and enjoy the process of refinement and creation.
With each adjustment and refinement, your portrait will become more polished, more accurate, and more captivating. Keep pushing forward and you will be amazed at the transformation. Time to add some colors and depth to our portrait. Let's start with the coloring hair, beard and clothes. Next, color glasses using reduced opacity of solid fill. Add shadow underneath chin to create more depth. This will help separate face from rest of the body. Now let's add some definition to nose by making it more prominent. Use darker shade to create a subtle shadow, making the nose stand out from rest of the face. To enhance facial features, add dark colors to the sides of forehead, creating more defined planes. This will give your subject's face more depth and character. The chin area is usually darker than rest of the face, so add some dark colors there to create natural shadow. Use mostly water blender to gently blend the dark color. Let's make the eyes pop, add dark colors to create depth and dimension, making sure to leave some areas for natural look. Now let's add some shine to frame of glasses. Add shadow underneath the frame of glasses to ground them. To add volume to hair, use dark colors in certain regions and blend the dark color. Add in dark lines to suggest a layering of hair. Finally, add some hatching lines in the shadows to create texture and style. This is where you can get creative and add your personal touch.